Hello everyone, I'm the Lonely Hunter, back to you with some more Black Ops 2 gameplay And yeah, we're using more PDW with the Viper camo cause it's sexy, it's great, it's a really great gun And uh, I really love using it, whenever I use it I get a good gameplay and this is no exception So in this game I had some really funny moments and that guy who just got sunk I really cannot believe how that thing happened because most of the times my knife doesn't work in Black Ops 2 and god damn that knife because uh, most of the times it's um, like it's made from plastic and uh, I really cannot perform when knifing I even made a class now that I have the available create a class slots just for knifing um, just having my only use me blade shoot on but um, it didn't work it doesn't really happen for me so this is why I don't knife but uh, if it is for a challenge for example win a free for all knifing only then yeah I might try it out why not there is a challenge and uh, I am willing to take it so I had some pretty good strikes right here rocking the Visat as always because I love rocking those Visats I love supporting my team and my team supports me so oh look at that cheese what just happened there oh man my router just blacked out infinite ammo for a second just me and my router me and my connection giving me one bar this was just a moment of trouble because um when I get one bars I really get frustrated but uh, this time it wasn't just me being frustrated the other guy was AFK so it was um, an easy kill for me either way so I really didn't want to exploit anything that is why I went straight up to him I wanted to knife him to humiliate him either way but uh, it really didn't happen so I didn't wanna risk it right there and uh, what I found out is that since I changed to my replacement router, well, things have gotten better in terms of ping. I join games instantly, like BAM! I'm, I mean, I'm like going into a lobby the first time that I choose to play in a certain playlist. I don't wait for the games to circle as it says, awaiting available games. This is a really good thing when joining. But um, of course I have this instability. Whenever I am using the network, for a couple of hours then after that I have to expect that uh, my router will die and it does eventually die sometimes and uh, this is pretty bad because let's say that I am in the middle of uh, uploading a video I don't know when it is going to die but this disrupts my process this disrupts my daily routine and uh, this is pretty sad so I really don't want this to happen, well uh, it hasn't happened for several days but for the first days that uh, I have had it, it happened and uh, that was pretty disappointing. But uh, on to that gameplay, so I have some really good streaks, I have stayed in the lobby that uh, you saw in the previous game, well some people left, some people stayed, but uh, of course you gotta expect them to change their playstyles accordingly, of course you gotta expect them to play a little bit more cautious, a little bit more tryhardy, but as they are changing their playstyle to a little more conservative one to a playstyle that uh, is slower and this is why the game is uh, taking so long to finish but uh, don't you love those games that uh, they take so long to finish and uh, you are just basting and you are doing some work well I love those games a lot I really like them and uh, I really want to stay in those games because I had some games that were really really funny that I was doing some work on the other team and I really couldn't stay in the lobby just because of a ping inconsistency because um, sometimes my connection failed and uh, it kicked me out of the lobby and sometimes I was also host and I was kicked out of the lobby and that was pretty weird I mean uh, I had people in the party telling me that oh man you wanted to leave that one you were doing great but uh, I really didn't want to leave that lobby and uh, generally I don't try to host my grade I don't try to get the fuck out when I'm having a really good time I mean when somebody fucks up my streak it is acceptable because I was never good at streaking I was pretty good on Black Ops 1 to get some streaks to get my Blackbird to get my dogs up and from what I've noticed there has been a major improvement after that well for me some dry times have been the MW3 and the World at War since in World at War it was um, just a step back the first game that I have purchased was MW2 and I played the shit out of it but uh, since it was my first Call of Duty game 
I didn't get good at the game. I didn't play really, really well at that moment. And uh, I was a really an average player that uh, I still am up to now. But uh, I mean, I didn't get any huge streaks. I believe that uh, I didn't get many chopper gunners during my Modern Warfare 2 days. And um, I haven't done that in MW3 as well. I haven't done some beastly streaks on MW3. But uh, the thing that I can do some streaking that um, I can get my Vsats up and uh, I could get my Blackbirds and Dogs up in the Black Ops games, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. Seems like uh, I am liking more those games or I'm doing better those games because those games reward me more while playing the objective or while getting the caps, while getting the confirms and uh, really what I want to go for is the confirms because this is what keeps my score per minute really high, this is what helps me get the visits and uh, from now on I don't play too aggressively when I am in other spawns because uh, when I am in other spawns I realize that sometimes they're gonna spawn next to me and I have to take them out immediately so I rush all the times during the game but whenever I reach a spawn point whenever I reach the enemies then I try to slow it down and then take them one by one and kill them until the spawn point changes and uh, basically this is my strategy because this is helping me tremendously get my streaks because uh, when enemies are spawning are trying to just push forward are trying to sprint around and uh, they will not pay attention to a guy who is right next to them, to a guy who is just behind them and uh, this is what uh, gives me most of the times the advantage and that is why I get my streaks up and uh, that is why I help my team that way. So instead of just going for low streaks, I am now trying and uh, experimenting with higher streaks, I am now trying with uh, dogs and swarms and uh, if I get them this is gonna be pretty epic, this is gonna be pretty great because um, I never got too many high streaks and uh, when I was going for them it really didn't happen because uh, at first when I first got Black Ops 2 I was terrible at it, I was a really really bad player because I was playing the same playstyle that I'm playing right now but I was getting my seat pushed in by other players, the other players were clearly better than me and um, I didn't know how to move around the map because uh, I was aimlessly running around as I am doing right now but uh, I really didn't know where to go around the map at that time and this is what killed me. So now having fixed that, now having realized where I have to move in order for me to survive and in order for me to preserve my streaks, I believe that uh, I can reach some higher score streaks. And um, playing the objective of course is key, so I try to combine those in order for me to get my streaks. Because at first I really couldn't get not even a visa, at the first prestige I could really see that uh, my score streaks stats were really really low my deadliest streak was the lightning strike and uh, it is up to now because I have called numerous lightning strikes and uh, I really try to do that I really try to do some low streak beasting because uh, this is more of my style this is more of how I can control the game and this is how I manage to win in um, every situation and this is how I try to play better and uh, improve as a player. I try to run with smaller streaks but uh, now that I am building that confidence towards higher streaks, now that uh, I am feeling comfortable to use higher streaks, I am gonna use them, I am gonna go for that big gameplay, I am gonna try to just surpass my standards and uh, surpass my channel standards by uploading some better gameplays than usual and uh, I hope you guys enjoy them. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed my rambling mumbling for those 8 or so minutes. I will be seeing you guys later. Peace.